Hey guys, I'm continuing straight on from the previous video. So we've now found our depth to our neutral axis is 61.9 millimeters. We now need to check our assumptions in the beginning. So we need to come back to looking at the strains. So the strain in steel layer one, straight back to the beginning video, it was found to be this equation here. So 0 0.003 outside of dn minus 15 on dn. Subbing in for dn, 61.9, we would have 0 0.003, 61.9 minus 15 on 61.9. If you were to solve for this, you would find that the strain would be 0 0.0023, which is less than our yield strain, and therefore it hasn't yielded. So this is no yield, which means it's elastic, which means that our assumption for this strain in layer one being elastic is, is correct. The strain in layer two, now this formula actually changed. It used to be uh, this one here with dn minus 100, but now because we adjusted the middle steel from compression to tension, that component changed to 100 minus dn. So just be careful of that. So the actual formula is gonna be 0 0.003, so it's gonna look very similar to this, except the 100 minus dn has swapped. So it's now 100 minus dn, not dn minus 100 on dn. Substituting in for dn, 61.9 on 61.9. And solving for this, we would get 0 0.0018, which you can see is less than our yield strain. So that's also making sense, which is good. And the last one we need to check, so this is elastic, which is um, corresponding to our assumption that E1 and E2 are elastic. So, so far we've confirmed that. E3, we've said is at yield. We know it's at yield. We've said that the bottom steel is yielded. So straight away, it's just 0 0.003. And you know what, guys? We've actually